Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. This is part two of anatomy of muscles of the abdomen. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Starting with the first muscle, pyramidalis. This muscle originates from the superior pubic ramus and gets inserted to the linea alba. The muscle tenses the linea alba. Let's have a look. As you can see, this is the point of origin, the superior pubic ramus, and this is the point of insertion to the linea alba. This muscle is the pyramidalis. Next abdominal muscle is the quadratus lumborum. The muscle originates from the posterior part of the iliac crest and gets inserted to the 12th rib. The action of the muscle is side flexion of the trunk. Let's have a look. So this is the point of origin, the posterior part of the iliac crest. And this is the point of insertion to the 12th rib. This muscle is quadratus lumborum. With this we complete the muscles of the abdomen. But before you leave, let's discuss about the layers of abdomen. First we will discuss all the layers and then I will tell you a mnemonic to remember them. Starting with the outermost layer, that is the skin. Second layer below the skin is the fatty layer of superficial fascia, also called the campus fascia. Third layer is the membranous layer of superficial fascia, also called the scarpa's fascia. The fourth, fifth and the sixth layer consists of external oblique, internal oblique and the transverse abdominus muscle. Seventh layer consists of the transversalis fascia and the eighth layer consists of the extraperitoneal tissue. So the mnemonic to remember these layers is SCS exit the park. The first S denotes the skin, then campus fascia and then scarpa's fascia. The EX in the exit is for external oblique, I for internal oblique, and T for transversus abdominis muscle. Next T denotes the transversalis fascia, and P in the park denotes peritoneal fat. So that is it for this video guys, don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on Instagram. Links in the description.